live. Uh, hi, um, Antti, uh, how are you? Living the dream. It's the last day of the event and uh, been incredibly successful. Yeah, yeah. So um, we're actually now at Tableau in Copenhagen and this is the last day of three days of design. Um, how was this? Really good. I mean, we are still a very, very young brand. We've been now operational for just over two years since we launched at Artec in Helsinki. It was right before uh, Vappu or yeah. Vappen, I believe it said in the in, in Posvenska. Yeah, yeah. And uh, 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 I was actually a bit nervous coming here initially because uh, we always knew that our stuff looks great, obviously, but uh, Tableau with the idea of having a gallery for the flowers and then turning it into a gallery for also design objects, mm. that uh, how are these very limited run items gonna be looking next to our stuff? I mean, our stuff is obviously mass produced, unlimited, it is handmade, mm. but uh, how is it gonna sit alongside all these wonderful things? And uh, I was nervous on, on Tuesday morning before flying in and then seeing it all in place mm. uh, and just seeing that they did kind of take their own place yeah. and just looked fantastic yeah, so yeah. very very pleased yeah. Yeah, it's a great space and also with uh, the floor here there's cobalt blue floor here at tableau and your your pine furniture pieces is really really nice but um you must have a special relationship with copenhagen because you were here also with the big launch was it last year or was it two years uh, ago two years ago yeah, yeah 2021 is the first year this was actually the first ever event we did internationally yeah. so uh uh launching in Helsinki at the beginning of May in 2021 and then uh, we did a bit of a tour so we loaded the van full of pine and uh, okay. first drove to Copenhagen for three days of design yeah. and then drove to London for London Design Festival mm. so uh, yeah and it's 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 kind of good I think there's a very very long history with pine furniture in the Nordic countries mm. uh, Denmark obviously doesn't have a lot of forests so uh, uh, they used to have a lot of pine stuff and pine very often came from Finland mm. But why, where do you get most attention? Because I think, I mean, you are a very PR-driven brand. I mean, you get a lot, a lot of media attention. I mean, where do you get most? I mean, is it like, sometimes also when you talk about Finnish design, it's like, oh, the Japanese love our things. I mean, where do you get most attention? Uh, it has been the Nordic countries, to be honest. Yeah. Oh, the, he did come. He did come, yeah. Here's the other founder, Miklo. Welcome inside, welcome to the picture. And uh, you have to share the, the bench. Uh, yeah, we started without you, I'm sorry. We're gonna move these yeah. so that they're in the picture as well. Yeah. Yeah. You can hold it in your lap if you want to. Why not? Our babies. <laughs> so why are you late? Why am I late? Parking. <sighs> this, this, by the way, it's like one of the best parts of the city that driving's made really difficult yeah. and it's super easy to cycle and take the public transport and i'm a fan of that this morning i had to drive so i backfired <laughs> yeah. and how was your um, three days of design then uh, a little bit like the city i think it's been well organized convenient uh lively and positive yeah yeah, and lots and lots of people. That, that's one of the conclusions I have. I mean, it's very, very busy. Um, okay, let's move on from talking about three days of design and move talk about uh, Varni. Two years old, are you? Is that officially? Uh, well, unofficially. Or two and a half. Uh, yeah, unofficially three years. So I think we incorporated the business in March 2020. Mm. And then obviously tinkering behind the scenes for a year. Mm. And uh, I'm not going to say that we launched with half ready products, but we kind of did. And uh, it was always the pressure that you have as a, as a new business that uh, you just want to go live with yeah, things. Yeah, yeah. And I think that our initial ideas and everything turned so cohesive, so we just couldn't wait to show it to the world. Mm. Uh, and also mid-pandemic. Uh, yes. We saved Peak pandemic, basically. Yeah. We, we saved a lot of money and <laughs> CO2s by not having to fly to meet <laughs> everyone. So we actually had met, I'd say, maybe about half of our designers before yeah. we actually went live. And uh, uh, everything was done through Zoom and mm. then Teams. We also wanted to launch with some like genuine impact. So we launched 12 products mm. in the beginning. Mm. We often see new brands come up with, you know, two or three, right? And then slowly build into something. We kind of wanted to be credible yeah. and yeah. be able to communicate the entire vision from the beginning. So yeah. I'm really happy we did that, e even though that was a very, very intense period. Yeah. And, yeah. and uh, how many pieces do you have now? Uh, we have a total of 42 SKUs, but obviously there's a few sub-variants. Yeah. Uh, sizes and stuff. Yeah. Sizes, yeah. 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 And yeah. Uh, we um, uh, we started off with solid pine items, and that was the initial drop of 12 pieces. And then last year we expanded into outdoor furniture, mm. which is the one we're sitting on right now, mm. and uh, then lighting later on in the year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And where do you go after this? Like bed linen in wood? 
we definitely want to do a bed yeah. and you know we we still have a couple of years of exploring pine left yeah. and then we have some bold plans right. that we're not going to talk about today yeah. after that but yeah. definitely um so much of what we do uh, what we it is about learning right yeah. so we've been learning about pine and we made pine now in three four different entirely different mm. types of pine or treatments mm. and mm. we still have a few we're starting to bend mm. pine yeah, 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 explore yeah, yeah. that what that gives yeah, us yeah. the helsinki design scene sometimes it feels like explo exploding and sometimes it doesn't <laughs> yeah, yeah some but because i mean there are like lots of new innovative brands there i'm thinking about for instance like uh, Woody, no, Woody, Woody, yeah, for instance, yeah, I think how they are also working with the pine needles and they're doing like uh, water basins and stuff like that. I mean, are you all like hanging out on the weekends or <laughs> how does it work? We are in touch quite regularly and obviously take great interest in uh, in, in what our other brands and other competitors, well, not competitors, but friends are doing. Yeah. But uh, an internal mantra that we use very often is that jack of all trades masters none well yeah. and. Uh, we started with pine and solely focusing on pine. And I'd say that uh, after three years, we know, know very little still. And we know more than what we did when we, when we started. But it really takes time and effort to become good at something. Yeah, yeah. And this pine thing just kind of offered us a point of difference. And yeah. we just thought that it's very vastly misunderstood as a raw material. Uh, is everything in pine? Is that what you're saying? Everything is in pine, yeah. And uh, uh, talking about bed linens and other stuff, yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, we might do some collabs in the future, but I think it is more about just really focusing on one thing that you're good at doing and ensuring that every piece that has the vinyl label on it is at the quality what it needs to be mm -hmm. and something that we can actually be really proud of. So instead of going that, oh, great, there's a great opportunity with, mm -hmm. you know, if we were to do this in red or if we were mm -hmm. to do this in oak, uh, no, it just needs to be incredibly focused. Mm -hmm. So, so um, I grew up with these kind of things. Good. I'm older than you are. Uh, do you also have like any like nostalgic oh, yeah. references? Yeah? yeah, we do a lot, and I, I think that part of like our love and affection of pine is that growing up, pine was like the ugly material. It was, yes. Yeah, right. It turned yellow because yes. of the lacquer they used yeah. at the time, and UV light, and glossy and kind of cheap. Yeah. Uh, we always felt that there's more in there, and our pine turns honey and mm -hmm. beautiful kind of ages really, really well. So. Mm -hmm. So yeah, is it because of the lacquer? Is that what you're saying? Uh, largely, yeah. back in yeah. our childhood, yeah. right? When we think of that, that yeah. was the lacquer that yeah. uh, was kind of not yeah. something you should put on any yeah. any yeah, yeah. wooden material, to be honest. Yeah. <laughs> but you're not a solely a Finnish brand because you work with a lot of international designers. Why? Why? I mean, we started off with a very humble ambition of redefining Finnish design. Yeah. So Finnish design is very often seen through the lens of modernism. So yeah. there's obviously Alvar Aalto and mm. then incredibly talented individuals such mm. as Tapia Virkala and Antti Nurmesnevi. I mean, it's mm. funny Finnish names, but mm. incredible the amount of talent we had in Finland back in those days. Mm. But we thought that Finnish design has kind of been stuck in one place for a very long time and it had influenced generations and generations yeah. of designers. So uh, we thought that uh, if we take our inspiration from the era that predated modernism in Finland yeah. and try to define what could be the contemporary design vernacular of Finland, yeah. and uh, then it did make sense to see that if the brand is finished, the raw material is finished, uh, what would be if we were to approach all these wonderful designers internationally yeah. and how they would be interpreting it. Yeah. And uh, obviously, I mean, the very principles of marketing that you can build a business on cost leadership or differentiation. Yeah. And cost leadership is, I don't know if you've heard of this IKEA thing, for example, in Sweden. Who? Who? Uh, it's the <laughs> blue and, and yellow business. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so obviously we chose to do differentiation and then you need to go international straight away. And that's how our international designers also helped. Because, I mean, you're working with some of this, my Swedish friends. Um, and of course, in Scandinavia and the Nordics, we have a relationship to, to Pine. I mean, what's the reaction from the other ones? Like, because you're working with some Brits, aren't you? Yes, yeah. we do have Max Lamp, who is English, yeah. uh, and uh, Philip Malouan is, is based oh, yeah. in the UK. Industrial facility is, is yeah. British slash American. Uh, but yeah, it, it, it's great that, uh, I mean, Frederick Paulson is, is, is one of our favorite guys. I yeah. mean, he's been an incredible supporter of the brand from the beginning and understood the ethos, what we wanted to say. Mm. Uh, and uh, it's great to work with him because he just knew Pine. Mm. And uh, he is Mr. Pine, effectively, talking mm. about the psychedelic grain and uh, the utilitarian nature of, mm. the, of Pine. Mm. 
maybe if I build on that, so I think the, the love, of, love for Pine is international. And, yeah. mm -hmm. you know, we have a lot of supporters. When we started, I was still living in California. And yeah. there's a very strong now kind of gallery, secondhand market for yeah. old Pine Nor Nordic furniture right. in yeah. L.A. and San yeah. Francisco, for example. And, and I think if you think of, like, the aesthetic of, like, all of Northern Californian architecture yeah. as well, like, our stuff actually belongs yeah. in that yeah. ethos as much as the kind yeah. of finish. Okay, so enough of uh, brand pitching. <laughs> Are we done? <laughs> no, yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. yeah. We, we have, uh, yeah, well, yeah. Um, I don't want to know about who you are. So one way to get to know you is talking about um, desserts. You didn't know that, but uh, this is part of the interview. So. Yeah. So um, are you a dessert guy? Of course. I mean, everyone in the Nordics loves pastries, and yeah. I, I, I personally am no different. Yeah. And you? I'm, I'm, I'm really into food, but I have a very particular diet. So my, my, I am into desserts, but they're just slightly different from most other people. So I stay away from p pastries, for uh, example. But what would be a typical Varni dessert? Ah, my goodness. I'd like to say a cinnamon roll, but that sounds too Swedish. It does. Yeah. Um, also know. very 70s. Yeah. It does, yeah. yeah. I have maybe something blueberry. I mean, Finnish yeah. berries are excellent and yeah. very healthy. And I yeah. think that's something that Mikko can also relate to. Yeah, yeah. yeah I do. Uh, ice cream also. I, I think there's like, there's probably some kind of really, you know, an ice cream that we grew up as a kid that really, yeah. actually I can think of a few, <laughs> like an ice cream yeah. thing that yeah. would work really well with wine. Yeah. Yeah. I like ice cream as well. And I also like the berries because it's very like, now we're going, we've been a warm week here in Copenhagen. It's been super, super warm. So, you know, berries in summer and like, you know, picking it yourself. I'm, I'm, I'm taking your words now. So <laughs> I'm really describing what your dessert should be like. Yeah. Going out to the woods, pick some lingon berries and nice. do something like, but that would be nice. Yeah, right. Yeah. 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 So, so after uh, now, th after three days of design, what, what's next? So most likely we'll do something with London Design Festival. We have a, a really good local partner in the UK that we've been, uh, we've been working with for since the beginning. And I personally lived in, in London for six years, and I think Miku also did like a good few years yeah. in the UK. So uh, I don't know if anyone can say that uh, they love the UK, but I do like You London. can if you want you to. Can. Yeah, own it, own it. Okay, <laughs> I love London, yes. Uh, so that's on the radar. And then um, I think we just, I mean, obviously we'll do the, the Stockholm Design Week in February, and then I think we just have to bite the bullet again and do the Salone. Yeah. I mean, it's yeah. just hard yeah. work and so yeah. expensive, but yeah. uh, you just have to be there. Yeah. Can you can you build on this sort of like media explosion that you had? I mean, you've been in every magazine basically. Can you can you continue? Do, can you continue on this? Yeah, I, I, I think we can, and I think people are recognizing that beneath the sort of exciting, slightly different aesthetic, we actually do have a story to tell, which yeah. is about fully circular, 100-year-old model of how you should be building furniture, living with furniture, and discarding your furniture. Um, so I, I think we, we we're going to continue to build on that. And as we learn, we also get to stretch what's possible with Pine. So I think we have some pretty exciting yeah. new, new things on the way. You use the word sustainable. Do you define yourself as a sustainable brand? Um, you just wanted to talk. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, no, I just yeah. I, I will continue what. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Um, no, and yes, and I, I guess like I think I if you're in business today, I think your responsibility is to offer a fundamentally better um, model to what the mainstream is, and that's what we're trying to do, right? So it's all non-toxic. It's all made in Finland. It's all. Um, I mean, you can use it for a hundred years. It's robust enough to do that which is roughly the time, well, you can Approved. grow a few yeah, yeah, yeah. generations yeah. of pine because it grows a little bit faster than other, other, other wood, other trees. Uh, but at the end of it, you can use it as firewood. Yeah. So, so I think there's a lot there and um, something that we do take seriously that was really serious part of the beginning of this project. And, and we will continue with that if we even ever go to new, new materials, which mm. put, puts the bar quite mm. high.